a new version of Mayo. That's what Kevin McStay said. And after one game in the January mud and in the Castle Bar wind, after one game against the All Ireland finalists, people turned around and said, What's so new about this? The talk is that Mayo were going after a more pronounced kicking game. And look, we're not going to see that straight away, especially on a night like that. But what we did see was some changes to the shape. Changes that will help them develop a kicking game in the long run. And changes to the defensive shape that I think playing a kicking game allows you to have. For over a decade now, Mayo have had one of, if not the most powerful running team in the country. They've had ridiculous runners coming from deep and it made sense for them to lean into that strength because when it came down to it, teams simply couldn't live with them trying to get up and down the pitch alongside them. Even last season, their backline, their backline consisted of Keegan, Durkin, Mullen to go alongside Cohen, McLaughlin and Hessian. So they've had these bombs being deployed from deep whenever they needed them. Think about Oshie Mullen's two goals against Kildare last season as a good example. Actually, just think about Lee Keegan's entire career as a better example. But obviously tactics evolve, teams get fitter. Teams no longer have to make a choice between being a defensive team and being an attacking team. Most of them now just say, Everybody get back and then everybody get forward again together. So when Mayo play a team like Galway, like they did at the weekend, when they play a side like Armagh, like they will this weekend, it's harder for them to just run through these teams anymore because what they do is they defend from the front. And I don't mean in the old fashioned number 15 makes a lazy tackle type of way as your first defender. I mean these full forwards, these half forwards, they're coming back and forming a wall sometimes beyond the midfield, sometimes on top of the defence. So for Mayo to get through a setup like that, they really have to commit hard and they have to commit extra bodies. And if they're doing that over the course of 70 minutes, they're leaving themselves wide open at the back. Exactly like the league final last year. I think we all remember Per Parik O'Hara being hung out to dry, having to follow David Clifford around half of Drumcondra. Mayo usually play with a high line and we're used to seeing them man on man all over the pitch. But not in this game. In this game, they were deeper and they were faster to get there too. Cohen and Hessian were playing wing back for the most part and they actually held themselves very disciplined and very narrow when they were allowed to when Galway went off down the pitch. The two midfielders were dropping back quicker ahead of the ball and they were coupled with Kearney and Flynn as well that formed this midfield engine that really felt solid for Mayo. And it gave somebody like Connor Loftus the freedom of that number six role as well. And maybe that's something that will develop as the season goes on. Even when they were attacking Galway, even when they were scoring, they had men back mind in the house. And when you look at this setup and you look at how it can be changed with the personnel, the concerns of Paddy Durkin potentially playing in the half forward role this far deep now, those fears won't really pan out, I think, like people are worried about. He won't have to play if he's back to goals. And they can get the most out of Paddy Durkin playing in this midfield engine. And they can do it without having to sacrifice the shape. And when they are on the ball, they're going to have these options in attack. Ryan O'Donoghue was an absolute hero inside winning ball against Galway. And we should expect to see Aidan O'Shea coming into that fold as well a bit more often. Considering Kevin McStay has spent his entire punditry career telling us that Aidan O'Shea should be in the full forward line. When Killian O'Connor is ready to rock, he can come in half forward if he wants to pick up some ball out there and get a bit of space, as long as the structure allows it. But he can also interchange of Ryan O'Donoghue if they want Ryan O'Donoghue to go out as a first time ball winner. On the ball, Kevin McStay is just trying to give Mayo some more options. Off the ball, he's making it way harder for teams to know what to do when they come up against Mayo. But it's only game one. 